quantum utility, Paul, I feel like uh, I've, I've heard this term uh, before and, yeah, you know, we used exactly. to use this. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. what, uh, what, what's happening? Is somebody uh, redefining the uh, definition? No, no one's redefining it. We're just kind of reemphasizing the fact that, uh, you know, there is utility in uh, quantum computers like around 100 qubits. Uh, they're able to solve problems now that are, you know, beyond the old uh, brute force classical simulation of quantum computing. And there's some useful tools for, for looking at some scientific problems. Uh, there was a number of uh, things that IBM did and published on in Nature that shows that there really is quant there is utility in quantum right now instead of uh, uh, you know just doing the research on it. Uh, it's not uh, not the same as quantum advantage. Uh, that's that's like speed up over the best classical method. It's, it's actually just using quantum for uh, coming up with solutions that uh, point point to the right answers. Uh, it, uh, they're reliable solutions, and uh, it's an alternative to uh, uh, craft, trying to craft a, a classical approximation for, for some of the products. So you'll get a better answer, and I think it's a, a you know significant practical benefit overall, all the classical methods. So anyway, we should start looking at that, and uh, you know, pretty soon we're going to be at a point where we can actually use quantum to do some uh, serious work. and. Uh, uh, IBM is, is doing a lot of experiments with uh, over 100 qubits, and they've got a program for that. And there's more and more uh, things appearing on archive of people using quantum and coming up with some some useful information. So, yeah, they inter uh, I interviewed Jay Gambetta in Spain um, when they released a, a paper showing um, it wasn't quantum fault tolerance, but it showed a way to improve the quality of the qubits in the flow without having them uh, lose their uh, lose their power. And there was a lot of discussion about uh, um, quantum uh, quantum utility on that. I think what did confuse folks is that, you know, Google um, Google said, you know, hey, we've got quantum uh, quantum supremacy, I think, two or two or three years ago. So, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. IBM is doing some experimentation with a fault uh, uh, tolerant code called low parity density error check, and um, it uh, it's got some. It, it looks pretty promising, and and uh, they they mentioned that they were uh, they've been working on that for for a couple of years. So, I think that's probably what he's talking about. Looking forward to it, and I can't wait uh, to be able to talk about all the secret stuff uh, you and I learned in yeah. uh, at the Yorktown yeah. Research Facility that I think is going to blow people away. But I don't know. Let's just spill it on this podcast, Paul, and <laughs> break, uh, break all of our NDAs. I don't know if that slide would. Yeah, they wouldn't mind, would they? I don't know. Okay, let's not. 